I'm Paul Kemp. Uh, I'm an entrepreneurship major. This is Graffiti Fest. Uh, we planned this probably, we started planning it beginning of the semester, but we kind of hatched the idea, I don't know, back in November. So we were just kind of like, this would be cool. Wouldn't it be cool if we could like have graffiti on campus? And then uh, we just decided to go for it, so. <laughs> I'm really into graffiti. Uh, I'm actually, we, we started a company called Punch Press Threads, uh, and I like to do some like street art style kind of t-shirt designs, and then my two buddies were really into it. Uh, they were all about Exit to the Gift Shop, which is really popular now. Um, so that's how it kind of came about, and then uh, my buddy Jason Hewlett actually talked to one of the professors, and we got a marketing class to actually help participate, so uh, they're everywhere on the, during the event right now, but um, they help plan a lot of it. Um, so they're kind of how we found the artists, uh, some of the local guys who are kind of selling their stuff, and a lot of the music. So that's really all of them, uh, and like a handful of core guys. So. Yeah, uh, my name's Robbie. I painted this piece here. Uh, I went to the Art Academy of Cincinnati. That's what I originally moved here for. So I graduated from there with a uh, graphic design degree. Uh, I do a lot of murals and stuff now. So this is kind of, uh, I don't know, it's like merging the graffiti and my mural work together into one. Um, When I was little, I started drawing like around age seven, and my mom kind of pushed me to, you know, get into art just because she thought I had a talent for it. So from there, you know, I just being around the wrong bad friends, got into graffiti, and <laughs> then uh, graffiti and art just kind of merged, and it, you know, it evolved into what I am today, I guess. So um, yeah, I don't know. It, it was just pretty much just who I hung out with and what we did for fun, you know. I just led up to this. So. The word graffiti means it is illegal and it is, you know not permission, which most people think of as something bad. So it's hard to like question that because from graffiti, I got into doing more art and, you know, evolving into something that actually is legit, but then it's not really graffiti anymore. You know, it's like, that's the difference kind of is graffiti and art. It's hard to separate them without like other people's politics involved. Like it's only graffiti if it's legal or is it graffiti if it's here, you know? So it's, it's really hard to say if, if it is positive or not. I don't know. It depends on what you're looking at. It's positive in the way that I'm doing other stuff besides just vandalizing things. So, I don't know. I'm David Bachweg. I'm an entrepreneurship major here at NKU, and I know some of the guys who run this show, so that's how I got to be a part of it. I've always been into graffiti since like sixth or seventh grade, just seeing it all over the place, um, and I always thought it was cool. And once I heard that they were putting this on, I immediately sent in my sketches and, you know, wanted to be a part of something bigger on campus. The theme was supposed to be relief, so um, I just, I'm, a, I'm mainly a lettering graffiti artist, so I just took relief and ran with it and threw it up. Oh, I think they see that we're just normal people. I mean, we're not trying to hurt anything. This is supposed to be beautiful, and uh, that's what we're trying to do in the community. We're not trying to harm anything. We're not in gangs or anything like that. If you're a part of a crew, your crew is not trying to beat people up or anything like that. You're just trying to promote yourself, basically. Uh, if you look back 
way back. I mean, people were writing on cave walls. I mean, it wasn't like this is new. It's been around forever and people want to leave their name and that's just how we're doing it. We're just doing it bigger. Um, so this is definitely kind of like a beta test, testing ground to try this out. Um, we learned a lot about getting permission for having, you know, the area, the sound, uh, the electricity, you know, where we can and can't sell things, how we can sell things, um, stuff like that. Um, and also getting a lot, of, really getting to promote it on campus, finding ways to get it out there outside of just, you know, having the flyer up because, you know, no one pays attention to the flyer. <laughs> So we took advantage of uh, the N3 email, um, using social media on Facebook, really getting that out there. Uh, and also we had sending out press releases. There's actually some news guys here, I don't know if you knew that. Yeah, so we had uh, Fox was here, Channel 9, somebody else. So I was, I was pretty impressed. Um, and that was just from a simple email. So I really liked the way we set it up. Um, since Red Bull was here, they actually kind of put their cans like by the art, which is really cool, because it actually got to bring the artists and the students kind of together. So they got to kind of get a lot closer, let people interact more with what was going on. Uh, so I could have be more happier with it, I guess. So, <laughs> so we'd like to make this an annual thing, uh, maybe biannual, who knows. Um, but definitely this, there's a lot of red tape we had to you know, get through to make this happen. And we're kind of trying to create a template so student organizations can have things like this with ease. So, um, cause we definitely had a lot of headaches trying to make sure we were, you know, making in line with what everybody wanted on campus, all the organizations and administrations. So, cause we definitely want to make sure they're happy. Uh, so hopefully we'll have that as a thing and then other organizations can follow in the footsteps and have their own events. Yeah.